Hey guys, this is Diamond Painting by Donnie, and you are watching another sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. This diamond painting will be coming out this Saturday, which is September 10th, 2022, 9 a.m. for Diamond and Ruby members. And it'll be 9.30 for everyone else. So stick around and I'll show you all about it. Okay, so today's unboxing is going to be a round drill. This one is called Painting the Roses Red by an uh, artist named Jesse. It's spelled J-E-H-S-E-E, -E -E, which is quite unique. I love it. And here is an image of what it looks like. All right, so let me get me a little... Um, um, what is this? a uh, box cutter a <laughs> little one and we'll get this box open and I'll tell you a little bit about it let's see it is 56 centimeters by 74 centimeters it has 18 colors and one AB has a total of 52,337 drills All right, so that is all the information about it. Let's get into here and we will see what it looks like. And I'll try and find all those spots where the AB drills are gonna be. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, here's our canvas. Oh, this one's a little tight. All right, because we've got the drills inside of there. All right, and I haven't had a square kit in a while. I just realized that I've been getting, I've been getting the round kits lately. Okay, so here's our toolkit, and here's our journal sticker. It's just a mini reference with a picture it's really convenient to have um, different people put them in different places I like to put them in my journal book here and I'll just stick it right there and we're good to go now let's look at the toolkit the things that come in here are a mix of things that you need for diamond painting and things that are bonuses that you don't have to have, but they are awesome to get when you get a diamond painting. So you get a bag of baggies, bag full of baggies, and that way you have something to put all your different colors in. Since this only has 18 colors, I'm pretty sure there's enough baggies in here to actually kit this entire diamond painting up into. Um, so you do need something to put your drills into and then you get a drill pen this one is a very yellow neon color and then you get a squishy which isn't a necessity but in my eyes it is a necessity so you don't have to have it to diamond paint but it makes it way more comfortable and you just put it on your pen and they're both in a yellow color they at first i was noticing that they were coordinating this along with everything else in the same color but i think that it got to be a little overwhelming in my this is just my envisioning on what was going on in their their place where they put all their toolkits together but they're still coordinating the pen with the squishy which is really cool then we also have um a cover minder which is a bonus in one of these things they're really pretty and you put them on your they come with the uh, two magnets you put the boat the second magnet underneath your canvas and then you pull your cover back and you stick this on top of that cover and it keeps it out of the way the next thing that they provide is washi tape, which is also a bonus because you don't need to use it, but it's a nice thing to have. Um, 
like I keep saying, I am going to be making a video soon about what to do with your washi tape, so keep an eye out for that. But um, you can use it around the edges um, to keep your arm from sticking in the excess glue, or you can use it for sectioning off. But this one that came is... It's really hard for me to see with all these light shining in my eyes, but I think it's a pink, pink floral. Yeah, it's just a pink floral. That's cute. You also need wax for diamond painting. Uh, so they provide you with two heart-shaped wax pads. They are covered in a thick plastic cover on both sides. So make sure you're not trying to poke through the cover when you are dipping your pen in the wax. Um, it should be very easy to stick your pen through the wax. If it's hard, then you probably have a cover over it. And they provide you with a little wax uh, container here with a lid. And that isn't a necessary thing, but it is a bonus. And they also provide you with a thin seven placer and a thin four placers. These things wear down super fast, so it's always good to have extras. And it's neat that they give you two multi placers so you can try them out or have a backup if you need it. And they give you a tray, which you definitely need a tray to put your drills into. Um, but they also give you a stopper, which is a bonus. So it just goes in there like that to keep your drills from falling out. Before stoppers were a thing, we used to just use our thumb or the palm of our hand to keep the drills from falling out. It doesn't like that. So if you ever lose your stopper, you know, you still can keep your drills in your tray. But it is a nice little bonus that they provide. So that is our toolkit. Now we are going to look at the canvas and I'm going to pull out, there's some other stuff inside the bag, inside the canvas they put in there. I've got my middle daughter I'm organizing down here for me while I'm doing this video. So she's got her headphones on and you might hear her sing. All right, toolkit is done. And now I have a little Tesla in here, not so little anymore, wanting to say hi. I'm big now, but hello. <laughs> and I'm about to be in fourth grade. Yes, she's a fourth grader on Monday. She starts fourth grade. Well, actually, this video is being <laughs> recorded about, uh, let's see, today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days before she starts school, which she starts school on um, the 29th of August so yeah so let's get back to the diamond painting I'm going to open up the bag here so this is uh, 56 by 74 so it's gonna be pretty large so you might not I probably won't be able to get the whole thing in the picture but I'll do my best so this canvas is a nice velvety type material oh it's so soft called tarpaulin and it, the function of it is to make your diamond painting self-flatten and it retains the color for a lifetime. And what we have inside is our thank you pamphlet. It has a um, thank you code for your next purchase. It's got a QR code for that. And it has some tips and tricks and what's included in your kit and it also has your step-by-step -step instructions and another little surprise in there. So if you've never actually looked at that pamphlet, you might wanna take a peek because it might be something you could use. And then you get your inventory sheet or schematic, whatever people wanna call it. I'm gonna just kind of roll it because this is not self-flattening. I'm gonna kind of straighten it up here so we can look at it. So here is a larger image of the diamond painting and it has all 18 of our colors and it's got a spot for your, your start date and your end date and it's got all your information there and if you look at the the colors the color codes let's get my light shining on it there we go you can see well if you can look here you can see there's like 
lines. You can see those lines? That's because these are individual stickers that you use to peel off and place on whatever container you're kitting up into. And I like to keep my extras so that if I have like a big a big amount of one color, I can just write that number on it with a Sharpie onto one of these and put it on the other other containers it's going into and I have the code still on the original but then I know what color those extras are for but uh, with Diamond Art Club all of their AB drills are numbered below 150 so the AB drill in this one is going to be 141 and that's going to be white so we will check it out to see what areas on this canvas are going to have the AB drills and we'll get a look at it here and we'll look at the drills in a moment okay so here we are this is self-flattening like i said um your your uh key is going to be up here at the top left and you'll also get it at the bottom right and it has scalloped surged edges so that your diamond painting will not shred or fray but i've never had a diamond art club canvas with any of those issues so but it is a precaution just in case but look at how okay this looks so much better than just the picture it's i was afraid it was going to be a lot of background one color because the picture makes it look like it's a solid back oh yeah if you look up close you can see that it's not you can see that there are it's a checkered background so this whole thing is it doesn't have different shades of it like the picture does kind of it's all two different colors so but you have color blocking but they're in it's in two different colors and color blocking is where you have a lot of the same color in one section um, whereas confetti is where you do a lot of color changes so you're gonna get color switches like in the roses you're gonna get color switches throughout this whole thing, but you get some areas of color blocking as well. So I call that um, confetti blocking or color fetti, <laughs> where, you, where you do get confetti, but you do get color blocking as well. It's just a mix of both. And that kind of, I like it, I like it that way. That way I don't get bored of one. I mean, at one point I didn't like confetti whatsoever, but because I use, I have a new method, you know, with the tray towers where I can keep all my colors out at once when I'm working on it. It makes confetti so much easier to work on that I don't mind it so much anymore. But let's look to see, number one is what we're looking for. That's where our AB is gonna go. And we start off right here, right here around the rows. It's like the third layer, third, um, see there's one color that goes around it and then another color so it's yeah and then black and then you have your ab white and then you have ab white in the middle again um the card over here is all all that white is going to be ab let's see where on this swan so if you you couldn't tell this is the queen of hearts and it someone else you know jesse's version i'm guessing that's how you say it this is jesse's version of alice in wonderland and this is the queen of hearts so not alice herself but queen of hearts because i'm guessing because the name of it is um painting the roses red no that was something that alice did isn't it so i don't know if this is supposed to be alice or the queen of hearts i think it's alice actually okay okay so now i'm getting it but i i have i do have some other diamond paintings i don't think i've unboxed them or did the unboxing on them yet well i did mad hatter i don't know if it's the same artist i don't i don't think it is because i think jesse this is the first one i've i've unboxed for this artist so but there are other ones that diamond art club has that kind of go along with this theme where it's the the same type of colors and the same art style so I'm gonna have to look into it to see if Jesse is uh, hold on oh, I'll check be right back right okay so 
I did see this style before. She has done two others that I was able to pull up on Diamond Art Club. I do own both of them. I just haven't done an unboxing for them yet. Um, one is called Poisoned, which is Snow White, and it looks like this. And then she's also done Always Are the Queen's Ways, which is the Queen of Hearts, and it looks like this. And this one is a limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone for good. I don't know why just the one. So I don't know if this one's going to be limited edition or not. So we don't know that until it's actually released. But um, Poisoned is not limited edition. But yeah, check them out. I do believe um, the Queen is on um, 20% off. So uh, I'll link those down below as well. But let's see. Let's go back to looking for the AB drills. It looks like on all of these roses, they're going to be uh, white AB on uh, going around the part of the out, outer trim uh, on yeah this one as well but I don't see any on the goose or the flamingo I think that's supposed to be a flamingo because that's what they were playing uh, croquet with but it looks like it's behind her and but all the cards it does look like all of the cards are gonna be a B and then we've got more flowers, still more ABs going around them. Um, her lips, I think, yes, this is her. So this, I, I'm, I'm convinced now that this is Alice. So uh, her lips have just a couple of them right there. Her eyes right in the middle. There's one there and then three on this one. I uh, don't see any in her hair. And there's, I mean, like there's only 18 colors, so there's not a lot but it's this is per, looks like it's a purple color and i love purple even though these are a light purple it's still purple and it, i think it's gonna be gorgeous all that purple and then all these these ab white ab's sparkling from everywhere oh it's this is gonna be great i just um I'm not sure how long it would take me to do even though there is the color blocking quite a bit of it in the background alternating colors it's quite a bit of confetti or color changing throughout here but then again like i said there's only 18 colors so it shouldn't be too hard to keep all those um in my in a single or, or a couple of towers but i'm just checking here to see if we find it anywhere other than the around the roses and the cards themselves so again they're still being very consistent with every single card so far and every single flower I think that's because that's the original color of the flower and then these this the red is the paint that she's painting the roses the white rose is red and it's interesting she doesn't have any legs look at that there's no legs <laughs> that's cool but I never I never realized that and I don't think the other ones do either this is more like a portfolio photo instead of you know a full body photo which is that's unique I love it and but she does on her apron here this is all a B I mean there's a little bit of purple color to uh, show where the creases are or whatever but the big sections of white going through here those are a that's all a B in these sections right here all these three and it looks like that's it but that's a lot uh, we actually have some going in here I'm not sure if that's I'm not sure what that is in the background oh that's her paintbrush okay so right here on the, the edge and right there and there those are also a B drills so there you go that is where all the a B drills are now I'll, I'll pull out the, the diamonds and we'll look at those I just wanted to say you guys um, if you're wondering why um, I've been just doing mostly diamond art club sneak peeks on my channel lately it's because I it's 
really hard to stay concentrating on doing one thing. I have a pile of things I want to do videos on, but every time I come down here to do that, until my um, crafting area gets organized completely, I get sidetracked and I start putting things away and I find things that I haven't seen in almost a year. And then I realize, oh yeah, I have that. That's cool. I want to do that right now or I, I need to do that. So I have videos I want to do and I will do them, but I'm doing mainly Diamond Art Club because they're sent to me and I have a deadline to get them up at a certain time. So I'm working on the others. I promise you I am. And if you're one of those people that has sent something to me, I promise I will be putting it up. Don't worry. It will get done. Um, okay, back to the diamond painting. I, I did notice really quick as I was glancing over here on the flamingo it does have a b's going around the beak right there just right there but other than that um everything else was i caught everything else that i could see so <laughs> okay there is our canvas now let's look at these drills i'll show you up close once i get it open Okay, got a lonely bag right there, and all right, so this time we're starting off with the larger bags filled. This one is one that was just in there by itself. It's like a pinkish color kind of a rose color I'd say and then we've got let's see we got two big bags of 550 I don't know if there's any in the other strip but there's two of them in here and that is my absolute favorite um, purple color in the DMC line I've said that many times but isn't it pretty I love that color all right and then 154 we have one, two, three, four, four bags of that. And I believe that's part of that background color, how it has the two, the checker, checkered colors. So 154 is, yes, it definitely is. And then number seven, which is 327, is the other color. And that's, we have two bags here. And I don't know if it extends to the other strips. So let's look at that. Um, this is where we have the smaller amounts, just little bits of blue, a little bit of pink, some more pinks, a little bit more pinks, and this is like a peachy, um, skin tone. And then we've got more purple, lots of purples, and two bags of 209. Love it. And look at this. This is the, I guess this is the color of the roses that the paint is. It's a 3705, which is kind of a pinkish, pinkish red, maybe a salmon color. Not quite sure the technical name for it. And then we've got so two bags of 209, got a bag of 208. And here I'm gonna zoom in up close to this one. This is our, our AB. That's that color that's gonna go in all those spots I pointed out on the canvas. Um, it's got an AB coating, which is, um, AB is short for Aurora Borealis, which they named it that because of how it shifts when you, when you change, it changes colors. So they named it that because it reminds us of the Northern Lights. And what it does is it gives your diamond painting a zap of sparkle wherever they are placed. All right, and then we've got 340. What was that other color that I'm not sure if they're gonna have more of? Uh, 120 or 327. There was two bags of it, but there's four of the other colors. So let's see, 3743. That's uh, another purplish color. 3743. I'm not sure where that is because I can't see it right off the bat. 
Um, and then 310, we have, looks like three bags of 310. And then 3865 is more white. So the white on the canvas that is not sparkly. And in AB form, it is the, the regular pure white 3865. And that'll do it for this diamond painting. And I am so happy that Diamond Art Club sent this to me. Thank you so much. It will go along great with the other two that I have from this artist. I better double check to make sure I have them because like I said, the one is limited edition and I wanna make sure I have all three of them. And who knows, there might be more that have already been discontinued. I hope not. But um, yeah, let me know, is this a, an artist that you like? Is this a series that you have uh, been collecting yourself? Um, let me know down below in the comment section. I really love seeing your comments. It brightens my day when I get a notification that somebody has made a comment, even if it was just to stop by and say hi. I really appreciate it and I do read each and every one of my comments. So please um, stop by, say hi. Let me know that you watched this video by just putting the word purple somewhere in your comment down below and I will know that you made it all the way to the end. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I really would love to have you as one of my, my diamond painting family members. And thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, um, I will see you in my next video. Have fun diamond paintings, have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care everyone. Bye.